and I took a basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and then we shipped over to Japan, and from Japan we went to uh, Korea. Now, when we got in Korea, I was only there two days before I was sent to the front lines. Mm -hmm. And there was uh, two of us, one, myself and another guy I didn't even know. We joined the 17th Infantry, 7th Division on the front line. And so you, you get close to somebody, and I had uh, two great buddies while I was over there. Jim Halabak uh, from uh, Chicago, mm -hmm. and Don Hamar from uh, Iowa. Well then, uh, in September, we was in combat again, and uh, Jim got killed. And uh, Don Hamar, he uh, and I both rotated later back to States, and he died after he got back here. But uh, different things happen over there. Uh, like I say, Jim getting killed was... I had a lot of buddies over there, and you get close to them, that's the trouble, you get too close. Mm -hmm. But uh, we was in combat most of the time. The one break we had was uh, when it was time for the uh, truce talk. We got to get pulled back, we pulled some duty back there, guard duty back there for there, so that was a plus. But uh, when you're there, you don't. We never saw it too much except, you know, the, the fighting. And then when I got back, well, I had friends show me pictures of Korea that I never even saw the country, you know. And yeah. I couldn't believe it was that, some of it was that pretty, you know. But all we saw was devastation, you know. Everything was bombed out or fired out. Just adapt to it. You're in war, you know, there, so you don't uh, think of anything else. You just think about doing what you got to do and hopefully you do it right and get back home. I was uh, about uh, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in high school, I took a physical for uh, the Second uh, World War, you know. But the war was over before we graduated, so we didn't have to go in. So then me and three of my neighbor buddies, we joined the Marines. Mm -hmm. Well, two days before we left, we had the papers fill out, but two days before we left, my father died, so I had my mother who was a house mother, I had a six-year-old sister, so I had to stay back. And they went in, I stayed back, and then the Korean War, I got drafted in the Korean War. Mm -hmm. That was uh, January 51. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure it was it was hard for him, uh, you know, a sister in sixth, uh, sixth uh, grade, mm -hmm. and my mother, she had been a house mother, so I sent my uh, check home to them, so they got by with that, but uh, it, it, I think, you know, it was hard on my sister because I think she looked up to me like a father, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it was hard on them, but they, they got through it. And uh, I got home and then I went to work and, and then I was, uh, I was 25 when I got married, mm -hmm. so. Uh, I still helped them, you know, get through. My brother did for a while, so. But I got to hand it to him. My sister went into nurses training, and uh, she. I always said, if anybody's going to go to heaven, be her.